Hi everyone, Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters. Please excuse my voice, I have got a bit of a lingering, I don't really know what, it's not really a cold, I just have no voice at all. Uh, it's been going on for probably about a fortnight now and I can't put off these voiceovers any longer so I'll just have to muddle through it and hopefully I don't sound too um, frustrating for your ears. So for this little layout I am doing a probably what you'd call a block design and I'm going to um, put these three pattern papers together to block out that right hand side of the page. Um, I am actually using a sketch for this so I'll make sure I um, pop an image of the sketch in as well. I'll see if I can learn how to put it in the top right hand corner like I see some people do. Uh, <clears throat> so you might have noticed I rounded the top left hand corner of that spotty page and I've also rounded the bottom uh, left hand corner of the text that you can see at the top there and they are going to be um, sort of for all joined together to form one big piece of pattern paper. So I've joined those all together but I haven't actually stuck them down onto my page yet. I just dug into my ribbon stash to find this beautiful piece of sort of I suppose teal covered ribbon and what I'm doing here I often split my sticky tape or my double sided tape to get it to go a bit further but in this case I needed to because otherwise it would have been too fat for my ribbon. I'm putting the double sided tape all the way along the ribbon first and then I will adhere the ribbon onto the page. I, because I wanted in a straight line I possibly could have put the ribbon I put the double sided tape straight across the page in onto a straight line there but I've just found in the past that doing it onto the ribbon seems to adhere better and seems to work better. No, um, no, no correct or incorrect way of doing it but that's just my way of doing it. So I'm just going to stick down this big sheet now and like magic I've jumped forwards and I'm just sticking the last little bit of ribbon down and you can see here uh, it's still got double sided tape on it and I'm just flipping it over and still adhering it down onto the back of the page. So that means there'll be no frayed edges or anything like that because they're all turned over onto the back. I'm just getting a little bit of tape, just normal sticky tape actually. Sometimes I use washi but the sticky tape was just sitting on my window ledge. And I'm just um, rubbing that down over the ends so it's really really secured there on the back. So that is perfect. So all of that has been adhered now. Uh, and there's my photo. I've not connected my photo to that frame. I just know I would like to use it. As I said, I am following a sketch. So in the sketch, you can see hopefully that there is a frame there. And there's also a tag underneath. So that blue piece of paper, I'm going to cut into the shape of a tag. I'm just getting a little tag there to um, sort of copy off and I played around with the idea of maybe using that purple tag but in the end I decided I liked the blue because it ties in with that blue ribbon a little bit better so I'm going to just trace it and um, cut my own tag out using that as a um, template. So there you are there you can see the finished tag so as you can see it's pretty much the exact same shape as the purple tag that I had before. I just traced it with the grey lead and then cut it out. Then I found the centre and popped a little hole and added in the thread. So I'm just having a play with the other embellishments that I would like to use. Oh if I didn't mention earlier and you haven't noticed this is the Coco Vanilla Happiness Collection which is just scrumptious. I love the bright rainbow colours in this. It is beautiful. So easy to use. Though I am quite partial to Coco Vanilla, I must admit. So just having a little bit of a fiddle. This is mm, the fourth layout I've made using this collection. So um, I've kind of got the bigger pieces left. I've used a lot of the little nifty bits on other layouts. Uh, and there's still plenty, plenty, plenty to use, but I do find it a little bit tricky when you start getting uh, closer to the end. I used all the beautiful florals, as you may have seen, on a different layout that I created. 
So I like that. Uh, so I'm going to back my photo and get that organized, but it's by no means finished yet. Uh, that's just, I'm happy with how that's looking. So I'm just going to roll with that for now. So I just backed my photo only on white, as you saw me starting off by doing. And then I've just stuck down everything the way I had it laid out. So nothing special there. I did pop the photo and the best um, sort of prize ribbon up on foam. But I'm feeling like this needs something else. I'm not loving it at the moment. I want something over to the right of the photo in the middle uh, where I'm putting that wood grain paper there. Uh, and I also think it needs something else down along the bottom where the ribbon is. It's just looking a bit lonely. So I'm having a bit of a fiddle. I think that this rainbow paper seems to be working the best. So my issue is the spotty paper obviously has a lot of colours in it. That's totally fine. But it's the size of the pattern. Um, that one does not match. So it will not be being used. Um, the pattern in that spotty paper... A lot of the other um, papers in the collection are of a very similar um, size and so that's not really working for me. I either need a really large print or a really small print and I'm having a lot of trouble. So I'm actually digging out all the scraps that are still just hanging out on my desk. Some are cocoa vanilla, some are completely different. But understandably nothing is hugely working as good as a piece of paper from the actual um, happiness collection are we surprised um, so I've narrowed it down to these two and I'm thinking I'm going to go with the rainbow colorful paper because it kind of ties in with this body paper the best so I'm going to cut a strip of that to use um, underneath the photo I think it's about an inch that I end up cutting um, and that's going to go along underneath the photo where the ribbon is the ribbon won't come off it'll be extra to the ribbon but I decided just one strip uh, didn't quite look right. It wasn't quite what I was going for. So I end up um, drawing my own scallops on there. Um, what I do is I trace, uh, so that's sort of my guideline, and then I trace the ring of my washi tape there, or my foam tape, uh, stopping when I reach that guideline. So I know that each of the um, semicircles are the same size. And I'm going to cut those out uh, to be scallops. So there they are there. Uh, and I decide that looks really cool. So I'm really happy with that. And it's going to go um, above the ribbon. But it's a little bit too wide. So I'm just following one of the guidelines that I drew onto my paper. And cutting it down a little bit. And then, yep, that will go on there. Uh, so I'll just glue that down and just sort of slide it in underneath the little edge of the ribbon. And it obviously needs to go underneath that ephemera that I've already stuck down. Uh, but that's all pretty easy, so no worries there. So that will all get stuck down. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm having a play with the little scraps that could maybe fill up that little border bit up the top there. Uh, I was looking at the different colours, but I think I need to use uh, the colour that matches along the bottom. So because along the bottom that section is pink, then I feel like uh, it needs to be pink up along the top. But then when I put it down there just to have a look and have a fiddle, I actually prefer it down there. Uh, so it's going to go down along the bottom underneath the other side of the ribbon. So if I had have known this in the first place, I could have put a larger piece all along the bottom and then just put the ribbon across the top. But anyway, no big deal. It wasn't that tricky to do. Uh, so I'm using wet glue there. You might have noticed it's the Montmartre, however you say it, uh, PVA white glue. Um, it's not a super quick dry, but it really doesn't take long to dry at all, especially because I sit over a heating vent so it gets warmed up. Um, so I'm just going to pop on my title now because I'm still having trouble with that sort of middle section on the right hand side there. So I figure work on something I know. It took me quite a while to decide on a title and I've ended up with something really not very... Um, 
exciting or elaborate. It is a very simple title, but it's exactly what is happening. So I'm happy with that. Um, I literally am just sitting here thinking right now. I don't know why I didn't edit that out. Sorry. I'll just pop it out now, shall I? Um, so, <laughs> title. Uh, Happy Times is one of the ephemera pieces and I'm still just thinking 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 and I end up going happy times with grandpa or with Jeepa I think because it's going to fit better on the tag so I'm just laying all of that out now um, and then I'll skip forward when I actually uh, space it out properly and, and get it all stuck down um, evenly because you don't really need to see that but that's going to be my title happy times with Jeepa so I'll be back in no time at all because you won't even know that I've gone but I'll have my title stuck down correctly. Bonus points if you notice that the tag has moved slightly. I actually ended up pulling the tag down a little bit because I couldn't get the G part of fit quite the way I wanted to so I just sort of pulled it up off the page and shoved it down a little um, and now I'm having a fiddle with that gap or with the join there on the left in the middle on the right hand side. I tried really hard to cover it with um, sort of like a border but nothing would work the way I wanted it to so I'm just going to end up popping some ephemera not quite covering the whole lot but covering enough that it doesn't look as stark as it did before uh, so using another one of those um, ribbons medals pins and then a few of the cute little hearts um, still just sticking a lot down with my wet glue and then using a little bit of foam to pop up and add a little bit of dimension to it, to the other pieces and I'm, I'm much happier with how that is looking. I think that um, covers enough over on that side there uh, that I'm happy with that. So there we go, popping all that down and now I think that I'm almost finished. Um, I'm going to put a few enamel dots in from this Chamel Glitter Girl uh, flare pack and I'm going to do some Heidi Shine, I've got navy and I've got gold. Um, there's a little piece in there that didn't quite cut out right. I already tried to get it off before and it didn't quite work so just fixing that up a little bit again. Um, and yeah so once I do the colour shine and the enamel dots I think I am finished. So I really love this navy Heidi Shine. When you put it on, it originally sort of comes on looking like it's going to be black and it's going to be really dark. But when it dries, it's this beautiful blue color, obviously, because it's called navy. Very actually similar to the, the Midnight Sky color there in the Happiness Collection paper. Um, but even a bit lighter than that, it's just gorgeous. Uh, it dries beautifully. So I highly recommend that navy colour. And then always gold. Can't help but have my gold. Um, and I have got a replacement gold for that that's not um, Heidi Swap Colour Shine. Um, Katie gave it to me in our advent calendar series. I've used the silver version and it's divine as well. So I'm really happy with the replacement there that I have got. Um, so just popping on a couple of enamel dots in the two sort of corresponding colours there, the pink and the blue. They kind of seem to be the colours that I've mostly uh, picked up on in this layout. Um, I end up doing three little clusters of enamel dots because, you know, threes, got to do it. Uh, and then I'm done. So I'm going to pull this in for a close up for you so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I found this really, really hard. I really struggle with sketch designs and this probably took me about three days, four days to complete. Um, but I'm happy with the final result. I think it looks really cool. So hopefully you liked it too. And I will see you next time on our Scrappy Sisters channel. Thanks for stopping by and please like and subscribe and comment and I will catch you next time. Bye.